Sporkinator Science Labs. It's been a long time. How have you been? I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. Greetings all, it's the Sporkinator, and it's been a while since I've done anything with Portal 1 or Portal 2, so I thought I'd play a custom chamber called Don't Make Lemonade. I've had this one in my map playlist for quite some time. And I've gotta say, it's pretty neat. Especially the ending, which can be slightly creepy. I don't want to spoil anything, but let's get right into this. Ah, we've got a switch that opens up that there. So I think what we want to do is drop. That gets us across the gap. We've got a button here, what does this do? Okay, so it raises the floor up and opens that door, kind of both at the same time. Interesting. Okay, so we've got something in here that we can portal on. And what do we have out here? Hmm... Of course, this is something I always missed when I was first playing the chamber. There's actually a switch hidden here bet between these two emancipation grids. So let's hit that. This allows us to get a portal on there and get through the field that was there. So we can portal here and drop. And we discover we have a switch and a cube over here. So I'm gonna place the cube over there for now. Hit the switch. And I gotta hit this switch. We gotta get the cube between the two fields. This is the part that really stumped me when I was first playing this. So anyway, now that we've done that... Oh, I waited too long. That's okay though, luckily the switch for that is right there. So I think I need to come over here again. I don't know if I wasted time or not, but basically I need to get the cube past the field here. There we go. On the button just like that. Now we can finally access this area here. Okay. That right there is what I usually miss, because if we come up here there's not really anything of interest. Well actually there is, but... Yeah. So there's that goo there. I lied. That goo is very interesting and very important. Anyway. We're going to want to cover the ground with it here. And just for good measure, we might as well hit the portal on the other side and get the whole surface covered. That ought to do it. And like I said, this would be the thing that I was always missing. And it would stump me because I didn't see it. Because you can portal onto it, and that's where you, what you want to do. So we have our orange portal there, which means we don't want to move orange. We have to left click to shoot blue. So, okay, let's just put it there so I can back up all the way against this wall and make a run for it. Interestingly enough, we land on something after we come here and there's an eerily white flash going on. No clue what's up with that, but we have a laser here. Obviously, we need to get the laser to shine into this, but how? Well, let's take a look at what we have here. The switch that we can't get to, or can we? Hmm portal surface up there. Ooh, there's one here. That looks kind of inviting. And if we take a look down here, there's actually something there to portal onto. Oh, okay. That takes us to the switch. Very nice. We're gonna need a way out, though. We do want to leave a portal in there to access the switch again later. Since we have the blue one there, we only want to move orange. So let's do that now. Now we can press it. It actually raises that up. And now we've completed the laser. And it'll turn off and disappear, and that's done. That kind of stumped me too. I was like, what? The laser turned off? What next? Oh, at this point, I can't really remember what exactly is next. I guess I need to get to the switch again. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, never mind. We don't need to hit the switch again. Okay, yeah, obviously that was something that stumped me. And this elevator is closed, which is really weird, because you think you're supposed to get onto it. But then you come to this control room. Sign here, if a future you tries to warn you about this test, don't listen. Is there a button here? Does that even do anything? So we think we're stuck, right? We should just head back out and... Oh my gosh, a future me tried to warn me about this test and I didn't listen. Or was that my past self? I'm not even sure. Thus, the multiverse was created. Thanks for playing. <laughs> well, I thank you guys for watching. 
I'm the Sporknator, and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to rate the video and leave a comment.